Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at the new prize mode in Barry's booth for iPad. This is a great new way to give away prizes, uh, vouchers, and coupons through the photo booth. There's also a new prize token, and that prize token can be used on print layouts, text messages, and emails uh, to let guests know which prize they have won. But also, that prize token can be used to create more dynamic interfaces and can affect which screens are displayed to users. In this video, we're going to have a look at a fairly basic setup of just putting the winning prize onto the print layout um, as a text uh, text caption, but also we'll have a look at how we can uh, change the background or the overlay artwork on the print layout by using the token as well. So we'll jump into Windows and we'll create a new basic event. And we'll just call it prize event. And we'll keep our settings here pretty simple. We'll just take one picture. Okay, so we'll go into this event and we'll, we'll see there's a new option here called uh, prize mode. And if we go into that, uh, we will see this is where we add our list of prizes. Now there's always a default prize and the default prize can behave in a couple of different ways, which we'll sort of look at as we go. But typically you would use your default prize as the losing prize. So if we just imagine for a moment that we're going to give away a hat, um, and every time someone uses the photo booth, they have a chance of winning a hat or they have a chance of winning nothing. So the nothing prize in this case would be the default prize. Uh, there is no maximum quantity of the default prize, um, but you can specify a maximum quantity of your other prizes that you add. So let's go ahead and add a hat as the prize we're going to give away. We're going to set a maximum of five, so we can only give no more than five hats away. And we're going to set its value to hat. Uh, now, this is the token value. So if we use the new prize token in our print layout, uh, if the hat is one, it will uh, print the word hat onto the print layout. Now, the weighting basically essentially determines or affects the probability of this prize being given away. But we'll have a look at that in just a sec. Okay, so we now have two, two prizes essentially here, our default prize and our hat. Uh, the weighting of the default prize is currently set to 100 and the weighting of the hat is currently set to 1. So that gives us a total weighting pool of 101. So with the current settings, there is a 100 in 101 chance of the default prize being 1 and that is about 99%. And therefore, there is a 1 in 101 chance of the hat being given away for a 0.990% chance of it being given away, which is not particularly good odds for the guest. So let's go ahead and fix that. If we set the weighting now of the hat to 100, you'll see that we have a weighting pool of 200, and there's now a 100 in 200 chance of the default prize being won, and a 100 in 200 chance of the hat being won, which equates to a 50-50 chance of winning the hat, or a 50-50 chance of winning nothing. Now, if we change that just as an example to uh, 200, so we're now weighting it more in favor of the hat, we'll see that there's a 66% chance of the hat being won and a 33% chance of the default prize um, being given away. So you can play with these to suit your needs. Um, and if you need to, as you add more prizes, uh, you can play with those numbers to uh, determine the overall weighting pool and the probability of each prize being given away. But let's just set this back to 100 because we want essentially a 50-50 chance. So the default prize, if we just go into that for a moment, uh, as you'll see, the default prize as description is, is hard-coded, so you can't change that. Uh, you can change its weighting. Uh, you can't set the maximum rewards because there's an infinite quantity of the uh, default prize because, as I said, typically that's given away as the losing prize. Um, or a consolation prize of little to no value. Um, you can set a value. You don't have to have a value, but you could have no prize. So if the losing, uh, if the default prize comes up, then on the print layout, we could have a print no prize. If you didn't enter anything here, it would just be blank. But we're going to put no prize here just for clarity on the print layout. Okay, so we have two prizes here, the hat and the default prize. So let's go ahead and okay that. And then we'll go into advanced settings, edit our profile, into photos, into our print layout, and we're going to add a caption to the print layout. And so if we right click down the bottom here and say add caption, 
and then right click on our uh, caption one to edit it. We can change this to the new prize token, which is prize in curly brackets. And we might just bump this font size up a little bit and just center align it. Okay. So there we go. So we've got a nice big prize token on the bottom of the print layout. So let's go ahead and okay that. And then we can jump across to the iPad to see how this actually works. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, refresh my event list. Okay, so my prize event will just update that to pull all the files down. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that and take a test photo. Okay, so we've got the hats and we'll run them through one more time. See if we can get the no prize. Okay, so we've got the no prize. So uh, there's a 50-50 chance. Now, of course, it's probability. So you could potentially get the hat five times in a row or you could get no prize five times in a row. Um, but overall, it will work out to be 50-50. Let's just run through a third one. We've got the hat again and we'll go one more time. And we got the hat once more. There we go. Okay, got no prize. So you can see it is quite random because it's a probability. It's not going to be every second one is going to be the hat. Um, but over the course of a large number of sessions, you should see that will be uh, a 50 50 chance. Okay. So that's our basic example. So let's add uh, another couple of prizes into the mix uh, just to expand that out a little bit. So we'll come back into our event and we'll go into our settings and we'll add a new prize called um, T-shirt. And we'll have 10 T-shirts and we're going to give it a value of T-shirt. Okay, so we'll okay that. I will also look at the weighting because that is set to one. So there's currently only a half a percent chance, which means it's not going to be given away particularly uh, often. So we'll set that weighting to 100 also. And that should give us basically a one in three chance of winning the t-shirt, the hat, or nothing at all. So we'll okay that. Now, while we're here, we're going to add one other setting, which is a touch screen action, which allows us to clear the prizes. So we'll go into edit top screen actions and I'm going to right click on the screen and say, and this is on our ready overlay screen. Now you could put this into a menu, a menu screen, but I'm going to put it on the ready screen just to keep it simple. And we'll search for the uh, prize touch screen action. And there's one here called reset prize activations to zero. So we'll add that and we'll just pop that down in the bottom corner. There's a hidden button. We'll okay that. And we'll just jump back to the iPad. We'll exit out and just refresh that event. Okay, so when we run this event, uh, we can now just tap down the bottom left-hand corner and it's going to prompt us to reset the prizes back to zero. Now, obviously, this is important because if you were testing at an event before it's actually gone live, uh, you will be using up the prizes. Uh, so you want a way to quickly reset that back to zero so you can do it with that hidden touchscreen action. Okay, so let's run uh, a session through, see what we get. Okay, so we've got no prize. We'll run through another session. Okay, so we've won the hat. Hat again, good day for hats. No prize. That. Okay, and now I've got the t-shirt. All right, so the t-shirt's into the in, 
come into play. We'll run through a couple more. Got the t-shirt again. No prize. Okay. So you can see that there's a mix of the prizes and the hats and the t-shirts and no prizes being given, given away. All right. So what we've done here is essentially a, uh, a simple output on the print layout with the caption. Now you can obviously style that caption, um, by using, uh, different colored fonts, uh, different types of fonts and, and, and colors. But what we want to do is just make that uh, a little bit more visual and create a nice graphic um, background to represent the prize that's been won. So what we can do, I'll just jump out of here. I'm going to go into uh, Canva. Now I have designed three different uh, background images for our print layout. One that's got the free hat design on it. Uh, one that's got winner t-shirt. And then, sorry, no prizes. In fact, we'll just change that to no prizes, not no prizes left. So we've got no prizes. Now, what we've done is also name these background underscore hat, background underscore t-shirt, and background underscore no prizes. Now, these need to correlate closely and correctly to the values that you've set in your prizes here. So if we come into the prize mode settings, we need to double check that we have our uh, values set to match our print background files. So this one was no prize, whereas we call this one no prize, no prizes, I think. Yep. So we're just going to get rid of that S. And then we'll see that our hat has a value of hat and the t-shirt has a value of t-shirt, which will match t-shirt and hat. So this is important because this is how Breeze is going to match up the correct print background file with the prize that's been given out. So I'm going to go ahead and download those uh, as JPEGs, all three pages. So we'll grab those files. And we'll copy those and we'll come to our events folder. And it's going to be our prize events and we'll just pop that into our, our folder alongside our other screen assets. Paste those in. Now, because we're working with sort of dynamic backgrounds here, uh, what we do just as a placeholder is just duplicate any one of these and just rename it to just background. So when we're in the event editor in the print layout, we'll have a file, a background image to work with. So we'll go back into our event, come to the photos tab, edit print layout, and we can see that we've got our placeholder here. And I wanted to do that just so we could resize this artwork. So I'm going to scale this down. Uh, so it fits nicely above the design. I can right click and center that, uh, yep, horizontally to get it nice and centered. So that looks good. Okay. So that's step one. So we've got our basic, uh, design done. Now in order to tell Breeze, which one of these to use, we need to use the overlay background file name suffix feature. And in here we enter the prize token. So basically what's going to happen is whenever that prize is given away, Breeze is going to say, uh, if it was a hat, it's going to look for a background file called background underscore hat. If it was a t-shirt, it's going to look for background underscore t-shirt. Or if no prize is given away, it's going to look for background underscore no prize. So we'll okay that. And we'll just right click and regenerate our manifests. And then we'll jump over to the iPad and see how that goes. All right. So we'll exit out of here. We'll just update this event. I should see it pull down those new assets. So the background t-shirt, no prize and hat. And we'll run this event and we'll just clear the prize pool back to zero. And let's run a session. Okay, I want a free hat. So you can see here that we're using a much nicer design. Uh, so we can convey that message of, of the free hats and get people a little bit more excited about it. So let's just run 
Let's see if we can get that t-shirt. The free hat, I'll take it. I like a shirt though. Free hat. T-shirt, there we go. So we can see that we've given away a selection of prizes and based on the prize that we've used, it is um, uh, uh, using the relevant um, overlay background image. Now let's just look at, um, well, just before we finish up, we'll look at one last, um, one last little way to use default. Now in this example, the default price has been part of the, has been part of the mix. Uh, and that means that uh, you could win a hat or you could win a t-shirt, but you could also win nothing. Now, if you have a scenario where you um, have a you know, lots of hats to give away and lots of t-shirts to give away, and you want to ensure that everyone wins a prize, uh, we can set that up. Um, but obviously we need to make sure that once all the hats and all the t-shirts are depleted, uh, that they aren't given away any further. And so the way we would do that is um, by setting the weighting of the default prize to zero. So if we set the weighting of the default prize to zero, we'll see that there's now a 0% probability of that prize being given away. Now, what that means is so long as there's a quantity of hats and t-shirts available, they will be given away. But once the all those prizes have been depleted, then it will revert back to the default prize and just give that away. So if we just make this simple, I'm going to set the maximum awards to two. I'll just set it to, yeah, I'll set it to two. And I've got the probability of the default prize set to zero. It will okay that. And then we'll come back to the iPad and we'll just update that event. And I'll just run through this session here. I'll just clear the prizes. I'll run through a session. Okay, I got a t-shirt. Or a t-shirt. So that should be both t-shirts should be gone. So I should get a hat this time. Yep, it's a hat. And there'll be one hat left. So we'll run through one more time. This will definitely be a hat. Okay. And now we should have no t-shirts and no hats left. So the next one should say no prize. Okay. So because we've depleted all our hats and all our t-shirts now it's re reverted to the default prize, which is just going to tell me that we have won nothing. So let's just run another one through. And one more just to be sure. Okay. There we go. Now, lastly, if you need to see where the, um, what quantity of prizes you've given away when you're actually at an event, you can do that in the files app on the iPad. So if we just come back to the iPad and go to the files app, uh, what you want to do is go to, uh, on my iPad breeze booth, and you'll see a file here called prizes. And if you tap on that, you'll see each prize that's listed and it has the prize activation. So we can see we've given away three hats, TT two t-shirts and three default prizes. So that's how you can just keep an eye on things whilst you're at the event. So there we have it. So that is the prize mode for Breeze Booth for iPad. And what we've looked at is how to set up uh, a simple prize giveaway, printing a caption on a print layout, um, and also using the token to determine uh, which background artwork we're gonna use for the print layout as well. So it's a pretty powerful uh, feature. Uh, there's quite a bit more you can do with it, but this is a good introductory look at it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, jump into the comments and let me know. We do plan on releasing a few more videos on the prize mode shortly. Uh, but in the meantime, just reach out if you need to know any, any more specifics.